Hi everyone, I welcome you all to the series of learning MySQL database from beginner to advanced. So in this particular video, we will be talking about DQL that is a data query language and specifically this DQL is a category or you can say it's a type of programming language uh, that has been used in SQL or in My, MySQL or you can say Oracle in all the other RDBMS system to query your data. So remember like if you wanted to continue yourself in the job of data analyst, data engineer, data science. So SQL is a very important programming language that you should know and among that you should know how to query the data. So for querying the data we have a very important statement that is a select statement. So we will be focusing completely here in this select statement how we exactly do the work, what type of operators that we can prefer and many more. So first of all we already have the Shakila database with us. If you don't have a Shakila database, you can get it from this suggestion uh, bar okay, that uh, I have provided to you. So I am going to use this Shakila database. So just type use Shakila. So in this Shakila database, I have a lot of tables. So let's see what are the tables which are present. So I have a lot of tables like actor, actor info and many more. So let's take many, uh, a very single table that is actor table and we are going to identify what are the data which is present in this actor table. Okay, so for doing that you have to just simply run select star from actor. So if you wanted to query a data from a table, a structured format, so you have to use a select statement that is the first thing. You have to mention what are the columns you wanted to extract. So star means all the columns and from the table name. So if I execute it, so I will get all the data which is present in this actor table. Okay. Now, in case if you wanted to just work with only one or two columns, not with all the other columns, so you can just simply write down the other column name. Let's say if I wanted to get the actor ID, I wanted to get the first name. So I just mention both the column names here and I type from actor. Now remember, okay, one important thing if you are writing down the SQL or oh, sorry, if you are writing down a select statement. So it could be written in multiple lines. So the SQL allow you to write down the same thing in multiple lines. So you can see I have got the actor ID, I have got the first name. Now let's say by chance if you wanted to manipulate any of the column, let's say whatever actor ID you have. So if you wanted to add something, you wanted to do some automatic operation that you can also do with these, <coughs> these values. So let's say if I wanted to add let's say a number 5 inside the actor id so the first actor id is 1 if you wanted to add a 5 here so you will write down actor id plus 5 so if you see i will generate a new column that will have the previous id and in the previous id we will be adding a value of 5 so the new id is 6 here for the new id is 7 here the new id is 8 and so on okay so this is a very simple thing you can perform an automatic operation and whenever you perform any operations on the data on the columns that are already there in your table. So the changes are not affected in your original data. So if you still see the original data is same fine remember these things. So still the original data is same. Now what happened right now we are selecting all the columns. Okay. Now if I wanted to select a column. Okay, let's say one column, two column, but based on certain condition, let's say I wanted to get the first name and last name. These are the two column value, but for those person whose actor ID is two. Okay, so how to proceed with that? Now here, if I run this particular scenario, I get the complete information. So if I wanted to get the information for only the actor ID two, so I will use a where clause. So where clause is for filtering the data based on a certain condition. So I write down where the actor ID is equals to the value. So I will get all the data where the actor ID is to. Now remember, so there are a lot of confusion in the starting if you are um, starting your journey to learn MySQL database. So what do you do is sometimes you figure it out like say if you wanted to filter the data based on actor ID, you have to select it. So as I have selected See, as I have selected the actor ID, first name, last name. So if I execute it, I get all the information. That is also correct. But it is not necessary like the actor ID should be there. If you wanted to make it present here, you can. If you wanted to skip it from here, that is also fine. So I will be looking for the first name and last name columns 
from the actor table but for those person whose actor id is 2 so if you ex also executed you will get the same answer nick and whatever is the last name okay <coughs> now so here with the where clause you can either go like this if you wanted to get all the data apart from this actor id 2 so you can use a not equals to operator so how you write down a not equals to operator there are two mechanism so either you can write down like this a exclamation mark and equals to so you will see all the actor id will be there apart from actor id 2 so check it out apart from actor id 2 all the data are present so that's it there is one more way this not equal to operator can be executed and a very simple approach is so here you can write down a less than and a greater than symbol so still you get the same output so there is no difference between both the operator both the both are the not equals to operator both will execute the same thing both will get you the same output okay so here what we have done we have basically selected some specific record so there are two terms that we generally use that is called selection and projection so what do you mean by selection selection means selecting a specific row based on a condition and projection means basically selecting a column okay selecting a column or selecting a attribute that we call as projection and selecting a row is called as a selection okay now so we have selected a specific record based on a condition using a where clause so as we all know there are multiple other operators that you can prefer like less than greater than okay less than equals to greater than equals to not equals to and equals to equals to the equality operator okay so if you are familiar with any programming language like c c plus plus python so all these operators are same now i will just give you one more glimpse let's say if i wanted to get those user whose actor id relies between the actor id 1 to actor id 6 okay so in case if you have a range of data and you wanted to get the data in that specific range that you can also get it with the help of your uh, where clause so for that particular part so there is no need to write down end condition or something else you can simply use a where clause and with the where clause you have to use some of the new operators that are present so if i wanted to get all the actor id uh, from the actor table where the actor id belongs from actor id 1 to 6 so i will write down where actor id between 1 and 6 so here i have used a between operator so in the between operator you define the first range the first value and the second value so you will be searching for all the actor id including 1 and 6 and all the values that lies between 1 and 6 so you will get for 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay so if i execute it so i will get all the data whose actor id is from 1 to 6 if i change it from 3 and 6 so i will get the data from 3 and 6 okay now remember one thing if you are using this between operator so you cannot put the highest value in the starting and the lowest value in the last so it is not correct so the between operator will only work in case if the first value is a lower bound value and the second value is a upper bound value so lower and upper means so the value that you are providing in the first should be lower and the value that you are providing later on that should be higher okay so this one is going to give you a wrong output or you can say you will not get the output here because 6 is higher and 3 is lower so it, there is no mechanism like this between operator will reduce the value so it cannot go from 6 5 4 3 it can move in an increasing order not in a decreasing order so if you go like this it will give you an error okay so remember so you can get the data in a specific range using a between operator so that's it for today and in the next upcoming videos we will see more operators like in operator and the opposite of this and the like operator okay which are the very common operators that we have in mysql and we will be having a in-depth review of all these things and in case if you find out any sort of issues any problem while learning the things feel free to put it in the comment section i will be happy to assist you okay so till then have a great day enjoy keep learning and we will see you in the next video. Sayonara.